Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and today I'm sharing a quick and easy recipe for apple crisp pizza. So let me show you what you're going to need. For the apple portion of the pizza, you are going to need apples. I am using Granny Smith. You can use three or four of your favorite apples. You're going to need cinnamon, sugar, flour, and a single pastry crust. I am using Pillsbury, but if you prefer to make your own, that's fine too. For the crisp portion, you are going to need brown sugar, flour, oats, cinnamon, softened butter, and then finally, you are going to need caramel topping. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is to get my pizza crust ready. So I have my dough out, laid out, and I have a baking mat that I actually got from Ikea a couple of years ago. It has the measurements on there. So I'm just gonna roll out my dough until it's almost 12 inches. Okay, so I rolled out my dough and I put it in my 12 inch pizza pan and you're gonna kind of fold over the dough a little bit to give it a little bit of a raised edge. Okay, so my crust is all ready and I have set it to the side. Let's work on the crisp part. So I've got my softened butter in the bowl. I'm adding in my flour, my cinnamon, my oats, and my brown sugar. I'm just gonna stir this up and set this aside as well. So now it's time to work on the apples. As you can see, I peeled them. I waited until last because I didn't want them to start turning brown. So I've peeled them and now I'm just going to dice them into pretty small pieces. About this size. If you wanna do smaller, you can. Okay, I've got my apples all chopped up. You wanna make sure that they are uniform in size. So let's start making the other part of the apple mixture. I am going to add in my sugar, flour, and cinnamon. I'm just gonna mix it up and then pour it over the apples and stir it up well. Now I'm just gonna pour it over my apples. And now you're gonna take your prepared crust and you're just gonna pour your apples all over that crust in a single layer and just spread it out. Now you're gonna sprinkle your crumb mixture right on top and you can use your hands too if it's easier. Now I am going to pop this in the oven. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna bake this for about 35 to 40 minutes or until my apples are nice and tender. So I just took the pizza out of the oven. I did let this bake for about 40 minutes and I heated up my caramel sauce in the microwave for just a few, probably like 20 seconds. And now I'm just gonna drizzle it all over the top. Okay, so here it is. I let it cool down a little bit and I cut a slice out. I'm getting a little closer so you all can see all that yummy caramel. And here it is in the pizza pan. A quick and easy dessert. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have you. And I have an entire playlist of quick and easy desserts that I'll make sure to link at the end of this video and the description box. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.